This little video is on the primary mindfulness topic of having a broad range of experience within what you could call the uncomfortable, comfortable range. It's very, very primary and important in mindfulness because it bypasses any tendency that we have to actually bypass experience, to come into a mental or even habitual mental assumption about how we are. I'm fine, I'm comfortable, or I'm not comfortable. And those assumptions are much more kind of just in our minds, in our thinking minds, rather than based on our actual experience. So we might have uh, a primarily negative assumption of everything's terrible, I'm not coping, I don't have any positive qualities, you know, I can't deal with this. Or a more positive assumption about how we are, about, oh, I'm fine, you know, nothing wrong, you know, I can handle everything. But what the, the mindfulness of this broad range of experience does is that it puts us into the complexity of the situation. Uh, that we're in and that we experience. So it's usually not just black and white, everything's fine, everything's not fine, I'm fine, I'm not fine. There's usually much more detail and complexity and nuance in what's going on. <coughs> there can be elements of difficulty, uh, which is part of the mindfulness uh, perception, and there can be areas of positivity, positive qualities, strengths that are here also. What the assumptions do is that they just latch on to one side or the other. So the mindfulness practice starts with the body and the sense in the body, first of all, of what is, you know, feels pleasant and unpleasant. Now, for example, you might, on the basis of doing this practice, notice a pain in your back, for example, which you're, you had been overriding uh, and not taking into account. When you start to do this practice of taking in the whole range of sensations from unpleasant to pleasant, you start to take that pain in your back more seriously and reflect on it, is it a sign of something that actually needs addressing in the, the kind of shoes I'm wearing, the, my posture, the way I sit at my desk, uh, and do I need to do anything about it in terms of uh, some kind of therapeutic situation. So, on the basis of our awareness of sensations, we start to get a kind of stability and comfort in taking it all in, actually. That we're not afraid of noticing something that's difficult or pleasurable. We just take it in. We get used to that experience of taking it all in. On a, a, a more kind of emotional mood level, uh, when we ask ourselves, you know, am I feeling comfortable within myself or uncomfortable? The assumption might be, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not doing well. But when we come actually into the experience, that it might actually be the opposite. That uh, we do feel things are quite difficult, but we're on top of them and we feel that we're up for dealing with them and that actually makes us feel quite comfortable with the situation. 